your life. The spirit of reciprocity. And God said, I'm getting ready to release you from a place of restriction and limitations. And go ahead and get the school started. There's a building. God said, this won't be a fly by night college. But it will be an accredited college. And your administrator will walk you through the steps and have favor. There's given a couple of times that you're going to run for city office. Greatness is all over you, man. I've got to speak it to you now. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the true and living God. I call you from where you are to further and higher. And the apostolic wind blow on you. Now the same the Lord. Somebody give God a praise on this. Come on, somebody tell God. There's a miracle in your house. I speak it if I be a prophet of God. There's a miracle in your house. How to double for your trouble. There's a release in your house. Speak it in the name of Jesus. Come on, once again, let's give the Lord a praise offering. Because we can let the plan succeed. seed tonight, today, because I want to plant seed in this double for your trouble, anointing. Hallelujah. Can we do that, Pastor David? I don't, I don't know what you have in your, in your purse, in your wallet, in your possession, but I want you to plant a seed of $50 for whatever your problem has been. Because God get ready to give you double for your trouble. If I could get 20 people to plant a $50 seed for this great man and woman of God, for this conference. I speak, and I want you to bring your pocketbook when you come. Because whatever you carry your money in, I want you to bring it. Because I want to be able to anoint it. Jesus. Because right then I felt the shift yeah, yeah, yeah. that financial institutes yeah. were shifting. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. And the demon of death is big. Go ahead, raise your hand, woman, and give God that praise. Because in 10 days, God's going to pay off a debt that you've been struggling with. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let's get. get Get our offering basket real quick. Somebody get my checkbook for me, please. Come on, come on, all the way from the back. I need at least 20 people to plant a $50 seed offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want you to put on your check or when you get your money out your pocket, wherever, say double for my trouble. Thank you, Jesus. And God get me to multiply something great. Sherry, I see Sherry Mars, I see God making you see like on another level of where you work. God's getting ready to exalt you like an executive. You might be the director now or something to that nature, but God's getting ready to put you on a county level of New York. It's something about the government of New York that God's getting ready to give you a position. Somebody's going to move out of place and God's going to quickly move you right into place. And there's going to be such an increase in your finances that it's going to be mind-blowing. Jesus. Believe the prophet and you're going to prosper your finances. Hallelujah. You'll never be broken up the day in your life, man, to God. I see money's coming from some things that have got you ready to bridge the gap for finances that should have taken place years ago, 20, 25 years ago. Come on. 
Give me the bridge that Calvary. And even your family, there's an anointing. Give me the rest in your family. And the men in your family. God say generational curses of being broken, of addiction in the world. And people in your family are going to start getting saved by the power of God. One by mistake that you can't get. I see God putting you with an attorney and some good news and property is giving real estate. Deeds going to be transferred. Transferred to you, men of God. There's a place down in South Carolina, Georgia that God is getting ready to connect you to. And I tell you, this property you're going to sell and you're going to buy. The beginning of 2011, about March the 15th, real estate is going to be important to you. People are going to leave you land that you didn't even know you had. Somebody tell God. Right. Man of God, shit, my God putting keys in your hand. He said, I'm giving you double for your trouble. Doors that have been closed for you. God give me to open three doors for you. All right. I'm going to tell you what they say going to be. January the 23rd. Wow. Come down the side. February the 28th. And July the 7th. God, you better write those things up. Man of God, your CD. Mm. Come on. Happen. All right. Come on. 2012. Jesus. April the 3rd, God going to give you a miracle, give you a connection. I see Jesus. you going out to California. Jesus. And Arizona and Las Vegas. Jesus. There's a divine connection. Somebody's looking for you. Mm. Jesus. All right. And your name is getting ready to go ahead of you because you got a sincere heart. Thank you. God said you will always sing out of the Holy of Holies. Jesus. Got a relationship with God that most men your age would never have. I see you as a prophet of God. God said you're going to start prophesying to the nation. I'm not a Jeremiah. You say, but I'm but a child. But God said, no, you my man. And the Lord said, there is an expected end. I don't care what you did in the past. This is your season and your moment. Now, somebody put God a prayer. God said, 